It's an earnings heavyweight day. Lots of uh, stocks have reported their numbers and we're going to focus on Rajesh Exports for a bit. Uh, the company has reported its fourth quarter numbers. Sales up 37% at 8,711 crore rupees. When you look at the profitability figure, that's gone up year on year 78% to 90 crore rupees. EBITDA margins have uh, come in at 1.82% versus 1.70%, 74%. That's also the year-on-year -year comparison figures, even as uh, you've seen cost of materials going up in the quarter that's gone by. Let's try and understand how Rajesh Exports fared uh, in the quarter. Joining in right now for a quick chat on the phone line from Bangalore is uh, Mr. Rajesh Mehta. He's chairman at Rajesh Exports. Mr. Mehta, good afternoon, sir. This is Bianca. You know, the rising cost of gold, it really seems to not have dented or diminished uh, people's appetite for gold. And that was also evident during the Akshay Tritya sales, where I guess you've seen a huge jump in uh, sales. And on that day, you've raked in a business of almost 52 crore rupees but give us a sense of the revenue contribution that you've seen from exports from domestic sales and how the picture is likely to be in the coming quarter yeah good afternoon uh, Bianca. we have uh, today declared our uh, annual results and as you can see uh, we have uh, earned a profit of uh, 407 crores which is around 65 percent uh, increase compared to the last year's uh, annual profit. Now, the primary reason for this increase in profit and increase in sales has been a decent contribution from our uh, retail business. A decent contribution from our retail business under the right name of Shub Jewelers. And uh, apart from retail business, even the export business has done fairly well. Uh, export business has done well, rather, during the previous year. So a combination of retail and export, both together, has been able to deliver these kind of results for us. Primarily, we have been able to do good business in retail in spite of the higher uh, gold prices, etc. is because of the fact that we have offered to the retail customers something which is very different and unique. We are offering jewelry of the best quality, the best designs, at the lowest prices in the world. That is what has been our speciality, and it is primarily due to that reason that our retail sales have done well. And the reason why we were capable of offering uh, unique things to retail customers was because of our 100% integration in the jewelry business. That is, we are the only company in the world which is integrated right from the mines till the retail customers. That is, we get the gold right from the mines and we refine it ourselves, we manufacture the jewelry ourselves and we deliver the jewelry to the retail customers at our own stores. So this is the model what we are looking for expanding and further uh, progressing with and which has been the primary reason why we have seen good uh, results uh, during the uh, previous financial year for us. Mr. Mehta, what about the rupee depreciation? What sort of impact have you seen in the quarter that's gone by because of the rupee? Well, being primarily an export company, <coughs> the rupee depreciation has definitely helped the company. But I would like to make a comment that so much of volatility, too much volatility what we are seeing in the rupee price, in the rupee dollar equation, is has, is basically not good for whether an exporter or an importer. Because the importing people, that is our clients, even they land up in confusion as to when to place the orders and how to go ahead with it and, uh, you know, basic confusing uh, scenario across. So we would definitely be more happier if the rupee is on a more stable front. But the decreation of rupee overall has definitely helped us as an exporting company. Right. Uh, Mr. Mehta, also do give us a sense of uh, how the Shub uh, Jewelers, that brand, is doing. We know that it's doing very well. So for the coming quarters, do you, already, uh, do you have in place some sort of expansion plan in mind also, something that you can share with us? Plus, if you do have an expansion plan, how are you going to fund it? Well, uh, we currently have uh, about 80, we currently have 80 stores of soup jewelers, primarily in Karnataka. We have 76 stores in Karnataka and 4 stores out of outside Karnataka. 
So our first step is to expand and complete our expansion in Karnataka, wherein we'll be setting up another between 40 to 50 stores. Within the next two quarters, we hope to set up these stores. And uh, after that, uh, basically once we complete our expansion in Karnataka, we would be looking forward to expanding in the third, four other three southern states of India, that is Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Andhra. After that, we would be going pan India and global also with Shook Jewelers. We are quite confident that we should be able to make Shook Jewelers a globally renowned brand as far as jewelry is concerned. Because we are a completely integrated company, as I said, we have complete grip on our product. And now we want to display this product to the global markets, including India, on the retail front and make Subjurals a known brand across the households in the world. Mr. Mehta, we do wish you all the very best for those plans that you have for your uh, in-house brand and overall good luck for business going ahead. Uh, Rajesh Exports, the stock right now is up half a percent, trading at 142 on both the benchmark indices, BSE and NSE.